Shetty What's here up? at Rap Sesh. Uh, this week we are finally revealing the Rainbow Road RR. RR. Do I call it that? Yeah. RR. 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 So this is the BMW S1000 Rainbow Road Mario Kart inspired wrap. Um, we are going to actually do the reveal with Miss Kitte, who is one of our sponsored female riders here in Arizona. Um, and we'll get into a little bit of depth about what we did with this bike. We took it places, we did things. Yes, we did, we did stuff. Thing. We did stuff Fun to stuff. it. Fun yeah. stuff, yes. So let's get going on it, yeah? All right. Um, so let's actually start at the top with this whole thing. So which bike is this out of your collection? How many do you have right now? Eleven. We, let's just go through the list because this is what we always do. Name them off. Uh, the 66 Ducati Scrambler 350, 75RD 350, uh, my two dirt bikes, the 65SX Supermoto, the S2R1000, the 848 track bike, this track bike, <laughs> my uh, E85 bike that was wrapped in the rushing riptide, and my HP4, and then my daily, the Blue Fire. 11 right now. Nice. <laughs> Super sweet. So once again, this is your track bike. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you've got all sorts of fancy mods and stuff to it, because that's just what you do. That's Not how really. you roll. No? Not too many. I got the Vortex rear sets on there, um, which is really nice having the little extra grip, like and this. my SC Project exhaust. It does sound very nice. It does sound very as well nice. As, uh, as well as the uh, brake and clutch the levers. The clutches, yeah, Todd yeah. pointed those out. Yeah, those <laughs> so. so the whole design, we actually use Curvaceous Wraps. She's in Portland, mm -hmm. Oregon. She's a female designer who just kills it um, in the rap game. Amazing artist. She does a lot of like illustrative design, so she like hand draws stuff and then scans it, and it's really, really cool and intricate. Um, so we actually used her to do this whole design. Um, so would you say like you're a Super Nintendo fan, like oh, yeah. Mario Kart specifically, or was that us that <laughs> did oh, no. push that? No, I am like the Nintendo master. I still have two or three NESs. <laughs> NES, yeah. See, we're like we, Nintendo we 64, like <laughs> Nintendo anything. I, I, it's just like a '90s yeah. kid kind of. I never got always, into Xbox or PlayStation. It's Nintendo. Nintendo. We always playing Mario Kart. For That's sure. Like our game. I'm actually playing Mario Nintendo 64 right now, the N64 version. <laughs> she is. I am. Yeah. I've got like 50 stars right now. But um, oh, anyways, cute. so we actually worked with WePrint Wraps on this bike. Um, they sponsored all the film and everything. Did an um, awesome job on the print. Yes, so what is the print? Do you know? Do you remember? Pop what? quiz. Pop quiz. What's the material? The material is Avery, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. With satin laminate. Satin laminate. Um, and the other material? What? Oh, we went with the Arlon, uh, what's it called? Reflective. Illuminate. Illuminate. That's you have one. to do it with spirit fingers. The Illuminate. Illuminate. Yeah. So <laughs> that's actually a reflective film. So <laughs> you're going to see when you get this bike in certain lights or when you take flash photos or anything like that, all of the logos, um, all this kind of rainbow pinstriping and all the decals actually are reflective. So it makes a really, really cool um, added effect, which is perfect for Rainbow Road because Rainbow Road's like just rainbow crazy. Lit up. <laughs> it is lit. It is it's in space lit. and it is a rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty wild. <laughs> it's out there. So, um, yeah, shout out to Curvaceous Wraps and We Print Wraps. Um, let's talk about what we actually did with this bike because we had it here for a couple of weeks. And um, first off, these are track fairings. Wait, race fairings? Yeah, these are race fairings. These are race fairings. So, so they were painted. They, they were, they yeah, were, that was one problem. They come primered. <laughs> yeah, they they're just primer. Just primer. Which um, is possible to wrap, it just makes it a little bit harder to get the tack down. Right, so what did we actually do for the prep? You came by and helped uh, us, We right? did the sanding and Light, then yeah, coating. Wet sand, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we did our coating with the gloss, revive it, floor gloss. Yep. The yeah, pledge. Pledge. Revive it, pledge. Floor, whatever. <laughs> our pledge stuff, we used that. And, our um, secret formula. Yeah, our secret formula. So we sanded, we had Tammy come and sand, sand everything, and then we did a double coating. Um, and that pretty much made the surface just glossy enough to stick and then we were good to go with this standard Avery film. So it worked out really well. But 
Also, with it being race bearings, it's like all one piece. So like this whole section the whole front end is here all. is all one whole piece, which your other bike is in three pieces, I think. Yeah, because so, yeah, this is one piece, yep. this is right. one it's piece, that's one, yeah. that's one. Right, <laughs> this is all one. And on top of that, something we haven't done in, I, don't, I haven't done it in quite a while, is doing a whole graphics wrap on a bike like this too. Yeah. So that adds a whole extra challenge because you can't, stretch it and make it as crazy as you normally do and you have to do have to really up. really well about hiding seams there's a lot of sneaky fuse seams and stuff oh in yeah there. we did a lot of nice fusing but we were also able to add in this nice satin black as an accent to where we, we were able to break up the print enough to where um, right right it work. well it was like make this look intentional like it's a vent or, or try to fix up the print that would on be there. Very hard to get once it goes in that vent. Once you stretch it, it's almost impossible to get that to line up. So yeah, I think it looks better there. that way because yeah. then it kind of blends with it, the other pieces. It, gives it, and it uh, doesn't. Depth, it's not it, as busy. Yeah, right. It almost makes it look like a natural vent that was there. When we tried mm -hmm. it both ways too, we had we sections had, printed yeah. for all those. You should have seen like the <laughs> templates that we made for this bike because. Christina's in like Oregon, paperwork. right? So oh, like, I saw the she can't book. see this bike. She can't <laughs> it was like see big. what's going on with it. And there's a lot of complexity in these panels. So what we actually had to do is take a lot of really detailed pictures, really, really detailed measurements. Um, we had to tell her like what the dimensions were, what we wanted what wanted them printed at, the bleed. Uh, it was it was a lot of work, but uh, working with Christina worked out great. And then we passed it all over to WePrint Wraps and they printed it. So and then we made it work. We always make it work. Yeah. <laughs> we also we also did live demos at the Phoenix NBM show, which is a sign and graphic show. We did. And um, so we brought the bike wrapped like 75% done. Yeah, we had the front fender, one of the nose uh, pieces there. And then we had all the decals the and stuff. The decals and stuff to throw on. Right, so we got to do live demos with WePrint wraps as well. That was really, really fun. Oh yeah. Um, also, yes, thank you, Weaver Wraps. <laughs> we added some clear bra on the front here. You'll have yeah. to get a little sneak peek of it um, just for a little bit of a cover so we, we don't scratch into there. And a cool little design, kind of like a Mario design. It's fancy. Kind of goes with the design. I was actually going to try, I was going to try to make like the flower heads, <laughs> make that as like the guard right here, but I couldn't find like a good enough. Yeah. It was too intricate. <laughs> I got too for crazy. Clear bra, yeah. yeah, I was like, nope, <laughs> so I'm just going to make it easy. So, um, yeah, it was a really, really fun project. Uh, if you guys want to keep up with Kite, that is K-I-H-T-A-Y on Instagram. Uh, she's super legit. Check her out, Miss Kite. But, um, yeah, should we get ready for blast off? Race time? Thank you guys so much for watching this week. Make sure you guys check out Miss Kite on Instagram. That is K I H T A Y. Um, shout out to Curvaceous Wraps and We Print Wraps for helping us out on this bike. Super awesome. Um, as well as Tint Life, who made my custom leggings. Pants. Pants in. <laughs> and uh, she actually made our Super Mario characters, uh, Slim Shettio and Princess Vixen, which are so mind-blowingly <laughs> awesome. I love it to death. Thank you so much. That's Tint Life and Iron Duck Designs. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the rap set spot. See you next week. Bye.